Want to know what League of Legends is without having to read an article or watch a long video? Hey, I'm Nate, and today I'll be starting a new series called Explained in 3 Minutes, where I try to explain some gaming-related topic in 3 minutes or less. Keeping this part short today, the like and sub buttons. If you enjoy the video, you know what they do. Let's roll the intro. Let's start off with some general concepts. The game is 5 players versus 5 players. Each player will choose a different character with different abilities and classes. First to destroy the enemy nexus wins. In this game there are 3 kinds of structures. The first is the nexus. This is at the heart of each team's base. The first team to destroy the enemy nexus wins. This is the main objective of the game. The nexus is protected by 2 turrets. Turrets are the second kind of structure. They attack enemies that go underneath them, and they give you gold and your team gold for destroying enemy turrets. Each lane has an outer turret, an inner turret, as well as an inhibitor turret. This brings us to our last kind of structure, inhibitors. When destroyed, they spawn super minions that have far greater health, defenses, and damage, as well as 70% reduced damage from turrets. They also increase the stats for other nearby minions. These guys can win games if ignored. The inhibitor will respawn after 5 minutes, which will stop the super minions from spawning until it is redestroyed. In this game, there are 3 lanes and 5 rolls. First, there's top, which are typically your bruises and tanks, which go to the top lane. You have middle, which are your mages and assassins, they go down the middle lane, and the bot lane where you have high DPS marksmen and supports. Okay, those are the 3 lanes. Each lane will repeatedly spawn minions that give gold when you hit them with the killing attack. The last roll is the jungler. The jungler can be any class, and they obtain golden XP through killing minion camps in the jungle. When they're not killing minion camps, they're surprise attacking and assisting lanes. As well on the map, there are the dragon and baron pits. There is one on each side of the map, and throughout the game they spawn large monsters that give big bonuses to the team that kills them. And lastly, for general concepts, we have items. Spend gold earned by killing minions and enemy champions to buy items that increase your stats. Each game you will buy different items based on what you need that game. Oh, and one more thing. Every game your champion level will start at level 1, and you can get up to the max level of 18, and your level resets every game. However, there are mastery points to show time spent with a champion, and progression outside of the game. Next I will be going over what a game is typically like from start to finish. You start in the client. This is where you push the play button in the top corner, select your game mode, for this will be doing normal, but there are a couple other fun spin-offs you can choose from. You have the lobby where you can invite your friends to play and select your role, and once all 10 players are found, you go into champion select. This is where you choose which champion you want to play, as well as your teammates choose which champions they play, and you can also choose summoner spells and masteries. These are a set list of interchangeable abilities all players can choose from. After this, you go into game. There are two phases of the game. Lane phase, which is typically before 15 minutes. In this phase, you will be dueling your opponent as well as killing minions to gain gold and buy items. After this, you have the group phase. This typically is after the 15 minute mark. There are various strategies for the group phase. Generally, your team will start grouping to fight the enemy, as well as destroy and take objectives as a team. The game ends when the enemy nexus is destroyed. So what do you think of the video? Let me know in the comments below. Hit the like button to let me know to make more of this kind of video in the future, as well as hit the sub and bell icons to be notified of my new videos coming out every single Saturday. I also live stream on Mixer, so check me out there, link in the description below. I stream on Friday, on Friday. I stream on Friday, Sunday, and Monday nights. Okay, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye.